Welcome everyone. I am Bonnie Saratori, founder and director of Spiritual Acceleration, now located in Longmont, Colorado. Really glad you're here. I'm really happy to have people join me and change your life without having to tell a story or do anything. Way cool. Um, tonight's topic is been betrayed. That's a big one, actually, because um, betrayal is like really a shattering experience. And there's many, many, many kinds of betrayal. You can have betrayal in your intimate relationship. You know, your, maybe your partner divulges information or shares things about you that are confidential. Or maybe your partner is uh, um, being intimate with someone else and you don't have that kind of agreement or that kind of understanding. Um, you know, there's betrayals in friendships. You know, your own parents can betray you. Your siblings can betray you. And, you know, usually in the, the, the betrayal piece, most people are not intentionally trying to hurt us or hurt you. Um, you know, they're kind of like doing what they do and aren't thinking and do things, say things that, that actually cause problems, that actually cause you to feel you know, betrayed. So that's a, a gut-wrenching, heartbreaking experience, and it's very, very painful. So, you know, really glad, like I said, glad you're here. Let's unravel some of this betrayal stuff. Um, before we get started, I uh, have the next, um, in August, which is the month we're in, we actually have a third clearing. So on the 29th, we have another clearing it is a paid clearing because in September, I won't be available for that, uh, the second clearing, which is always a paid clearing. So we put it into August. And the next one for uh, the 29th of August is struggles with children. You know, every, if you got kids, there's lots of different things happening that you're, uh, re you know, reacting to, worried about. So struggles with kids, wouldn't it be nice if your body could relax a little bit more and and you could have a deeper understanding of what's really happening, what, what your life is really about with your children and and you know not have so many struggles with them, so many worries and struggles. So that's coming up, like I said, the 29th of August. And don't want to miss that one. We also have, oh, okay, yes, I'm doing new a new thing and it's called semi-private what that is is it's like between six to eight people on a call and we do the zoom so you know you just like like this same only different and we do topic specific so tomorrow is on money straight up money okay you know that's different than abundance lack da, da, da. but this is on money so I, I think we still have a couple spaces left for that so if you got issues with money, then you might want to consider joining that clearing, okay? And then I, what I have you do too is you send me uh, an email with some info, like we have a questionnaire. What that does is it helps me to better tune into you so that I get a sense of what your issues are, what's going on for you. And then, you know, I can dig deeper into that. And then, so I, it's like a group clearing for about a half an hour and then everyone gets um, five, seven, ten minutes of individual clearing where I work with each person. The cool thing about that is, I've said this before, you know, same in you, same in me. We're all the same, only different. And when I'm working, with, like when we do the finish up the group clearing part and I start working individually, people identify, people uh, relate, they, and then they also get cleared as well. So you, it's like you're getting an hour to an hour and a half of clearing in a semi-private, much less discounted. So if you want to work with me, that's one of the best, one of the ways to do that. Like I said, tomorrow is on money. And then Thursday is it's in semi-private. There's just, you know, there's a few spaces left on that one. And that one is um trouble in paradise. <laughs> that, you know, it's like it's that relationship thing. I just find people so reactive to each other and so much blaming happening and making people wrong and taking things personal and making it about them when it really isn't. So, you know, trouble in paradise is a good one. So you want to kind of 
have a better connection with your partner, have it, it, just be more bonded, more connected and less, you did this to me and reactive and all that good stuff. Let's clean some of that stuff up so you can land more deeply, be more at peace, enjoy your relationship more deeply. And then, oh, Creston is coming up in September, September 15th, it's the 15th through the 25th. We have like one more space available. So if you're <clears throat> interested in learning the work, learning how to do this kind of work, it's, you know, the, the, in-person 10-day workshop with me is is different than the online class. On the online class, we're really focusing on the the teachings, the foundation, you know, all the different the six segments that I that are the foundation for the work. When you come to be with me in person, it's a whole different ball game. Okay, it's like you're living in a situation where people are triggering you. You're having reactions. You do the blaming. You take things personal. You feel the victim. So we address things as they present. And there's something very, very powerful about that. And then, too, you know, I'm right there with each person. So I, each person is so unique and individual. So I meet them wherever they live, wherever they are in their consciousness and their skills and abilities, and then also help them to get even better, you know, and then also giving information and teaching. So, yes, so you get the components of the online, but you get so much more. It's basically life-changing and deepening and unraveling and you know it's a spiritual acceleration for sure so if you might be been wanting to take the training been curious interested you might want to check it out okay and then we do have um coming up <clears throat> let me just remember here okay yeah, this is also semi-private there's two more coming up that uh, james will post for us and one of them is called under attack. That means, um, you know, sometimes people, I have a lot of people actually, especially people who have any kind of intuitive abilities or that are healers or making a difference in the world, get attacked for real. And this is all on the astral planes, the energy planes. This is just carnage, entities, things of that nature. So if you've been under attack or feel under attack, and even with the dark stuff, you feel afraid or feel unsafe feeling like things are after you, that would be a really good one to participate in. And then the next one after that is called, gee, I wonder who has this, sexual shame. <laughs> you know, I have to tell you, most people have some kind of sexual shame. It just is. You know, you got your religions, you got all these cultures, all these beliefs, all these programmings and rights and wrongs and you know, so you grow up, you're born into sexual shame. So unless you've done some major clearing um, and done some really deep unraveling and really feel totally liberated and not out of your body liberated, but in your body anchored in with eyes open, here I am, you probably got some sexual shame. So you may want to check that one out. All right. I think that's it. So yeah. So if you, you know, the semi-privates are really cool. I'm really, really liking those. I feel like reaching a lot of people, more people going really deep and it's more affordable for people that want to, you know, have sessions with me. So in time, that's the only way you will be able to have a session with me. So, um, yeah, but also, you know, we got new people coming up on the team, which is really cool, really exciting. And, um, yeah, people are learning it, getting it, dialing it in and having a great time. Okay. So let's get back to Ben Betrayed. Uh, okay, so, you know, truthfully, betrayal or being betrayed didn't start in this lifetime. I've said this before, but some of you are new and not uh, had clearing with me before. So basically, whatever you're experiencing started a long time ago, past lives, past incarnations. So what happens is, is you'll have an, you'll, okay, let me back up. So for people who are fairly new, I want to just share with you, you know, I've been tracking humanity for most of my life and, you know, get, I go direct. I don't have other teachers. I don't have other uh, people that I learn from. So I learned a long time ago that if I want the real answers, go direct. So that's what I did. Um, so in your soul's evolution, in order to come back to the oneness, which is what we're all doing, you know, we're all, we're all going the same place. So I want the same thing. And, 
in order to do that, you know, it's like you need to be at a certain level of consciousness, frequency, awareness, purity, clear, whatever. And, and then also to know all facets, all facets of creation, already. And if you think the evil is in creation, um, you're mistaken because everything is that. And how things go into evil is when the heart starts to close down, you start to do cruelty, hurtful, hateful things, mean things, and you get t- darker and darker pretty soon, you know, you become like a really dark being. And then, you know, you start plugging into these other frequencies that are the frequencies of evil and blackness and things like that. But we all do our part. We play our part with our own hatred, our own envy, our own jealousies, you know, all those negative, really dark uh, feelings, emotions that we have. And once the heart starts closing down, you become heartless. Okay. So let's come back to when we are incarnating and are in between and we want to know ourselves. Let's just say since tonight is betrayal. We want to know ourselves in that. Why do we want to do that? Because that's creation. How are we going to know creation if we don't know all facets of creation? All righty. So creation is that. I mean, that is in the mix of the awareness that creation is. So we want to know ourselves in that way. So we make agreements with our soul families and, and uh, we get together and not, and we're not in physical body. We are in the uh, state of awareness where we, uh, you, you know, if you go there, you can't, there's no physical, physical energy at all. You don't even see frequencies of beings. It's just that state of uh, an awareness that we're all sharing. So in that state of awareness, we want to know ourselves in the ways of betrayal, being betrayed. What is that experience? Who am I in betrayal? Okay. So we make these agreements, not really realizing what it's going to be like. And then we start our journey in the next lifetime of that feeling of being betrayed. And now it can actually happen in the womb, you know, the feeling of being betrayed by your own mother or rejected, or, you know, there's just all kinds of frequencies that happen while you're in the womb. But basically you're going to uh, connect with others that are going to fulfill that wish to know yourself in betrayal, right? To be betrayed. And you're also going to be the betrayer. Okay. So it's not like it's only happened to you. It's you, you've done the same things you've done to others, the betrayal. You've probably done lots of betrayal in this lifetime and just maybe don't even know it. Or maybe you do know it, you know, and feel bad, but you know, so betrayal is uh, really intense because the betrayal, usually you're not going to feel betrayed by somebody you hardly know, but you're going to feel more of a deeper sense of betrayal by those that you're closest to. Okay. So in that, uh, that feeling of betrayal can cause really intense emotions. And, and become really, you know, painful, hurtful, and heartbreaking basically okay so betrayal so basically when we come back into this lifetime and then um we've already got the wounding in there so the wounding you know is like the energy of the wounding is what attracts others to uh cause harm and and they're going to show up in ways that um literally activates the wounding that's already inside of us okay so like I said, this isn't your first time around of feeling betrayed. All you're doing is trying to unravel it. And that brings me to the point of if you don't unravel stuff when it happens, if you don't keep your heart open in this, like let's say you have an experience where you feel betrayed, okay? And it's by someone that you really care and love and 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 it feels like they break your heart or you feel like your heart is breaking, okay? So the key to releasing energy, and this is a this is a majorly important piece here, people. The key to unraveling and releasing, so you don't collect even more evidence, so you can keep your heart open and not have to repeat the betrayal again. Because once you get the lesson, once you clear the intensity of the emotion from your physical body, from your emotional body, from your etheric body, your spiritual body, you will not have to do this lesson again. That means you won't be experiencing betrayal like, like, like this again, all righty? But the key is, let's just say in this lifetime, this is a good one. You know, people, um, especially uh, 
in our culture, being married is about connection. It's about monogamy and being with your partner. Let's just say that you're in relationship, married, your husband, your wife has an affair, that's gonna feel like a betrayal, okay? The tendency is to make them wrong, judge them, and want to hurt them back. But more than that, it's like, it just feels like a devastation. It feels like heartbreak. And the, what we do is we start to shut down so that we don't have to feel the intensity, even though you're feeling the intensity anyway, when we when someone hurts our feelings or hurts us, we start to pull back. We start to close our heart to one another, okay? The moment we have a reaction to someone, oh, close the heart down, okay? I'm gonna hold, withhold my love, alrighty? So you pull that in and then, you're, you're feeling the pain, but it can't leave. It's not moving. You're not releasing it. It's not, you know, being um, released from your whole energy field. So the key is, and this is the key for all, all things. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you lose somebody through death, you lose them through divorce, or you, you know, you have betrayal, you have loss, whatever those, whatever is happening in your world. Rather than you can feel your heart closing down. I'm telling you, you can feel it. You can feel it's like mm, 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 tightening, showing it, closing, shutting down. Okay. And then you blame, you go in the story, all these mind thoughts, all these things you're telling yourself. None of them are real. Not one of them. They never will be. And once the heart closes, you can't feel anymore. You can't experience anymore. Um, you know, what you're, what's really trying to move through your body. Okay. So partly what needs to happen is keep your heart open, keep loving them through the pain, okay? And here's what will happen. Remember I talked about all those lifetimes, all those lifetimes of betrayal, hundreds of lifetimes of betrayal, maybe even over a thousand lifetimes of feeling of having betrayal, okay? So what happens is when you keep your heart open and you allow the, the feelings that are arising because of this betrayal, okay? And another thing, you can't keep making your feelings about anybody. You have to keep dropping into what it's feeling like. But once you are there and you're letting yourself feel how much pain is in your heart through this betrayal, what happens is, is all the past lives, the frequencies start to come up as well, okay? So all the energy from your subconscious starts to move up through your body, all those emotions that you're experiencing are now no longer just this betrayal. If you keep opening the heart and allowing the emotion, allow the feelings, allow yourself to really just fall into, surrender to this excruciating, painful experience, cry it out, sob it out, drop on the floor, you know, feels like your heart's going to break, but keep the heart open. And when doing so, your body can release all this old, old ancient frequencies that you've been trying to release for lifetimes. The energy can literally move through your body and you are liberated from it, okay? Liberated. And, and then two, it's also good to start clearing. You can clear your, you can do yourself too, where you, uh, we start asking for the light to come and any discarnates that are in your body that have also been betrayed because you're going to have a bunch can also go home. So, you know, it's like a major release, a major healing, and you, you'll feel differently. You're, you know, you'll, you'll have more compassion, more understanding. You won't feel like such a victim. You won't feel such a broken heart. It's like the heart starts to mend. Okay. So if you can remember that and practice that, it's going to change your life, righty? So, been betrayed? Yeah, everyone's been betrayed, okay? You're a betrayer and you're a betrayee. So, you know, same in you, same in me. But let's stop the blame game. This is another thing. You got to quit blaming people. You, you know, it's like you take things personal. You go on the mind train, mind thoughts. And none of your thoughts are real. None of them are true. And you close the heart down, you withhold love, and then you hurt each other. And the very thing you really want is for yourself and others to keep the heart open and keep loving. Well, that's one way to do it, okay? So you've called this in. You've called in all your experiences. You've co-created the dance. And now you're unraveling 
the heartache, okay? So, you know, one of the things that's really important is to understand that you are a co-creator and that you are responsible and accountable for your life. You're not a victim, okay? I know it feels like you are sometimes and, you know, you can go to court and prove you're a victim, but if we want to walk the spiritual path, the higher path, the truth, then there really are no victims. When you really understand that you've co-created, you've agreed to know yourself in these ways, then how can you be a victim, okay? I called this in. I said, yes, I want to know myself in the ways of betrayal. I just didn't know it was going to take 100 lifetimes, but now here I am, and I'm unraveling it now, okay? I'm facing it. I'm, I'm deepening in myself, and no longer going to make it about somebody else, okay? So co-creator, you are co-creator, made in the image of God itself. And it's not in the human body. It's not a man's body. It is in the ability to create. Create, create, create. We are creators. Creation, creators. That's what we are. All right. So um, this reminder that tonight uh, we do have the Q&A afterwards. So stick around and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll answer questions. So also when you do have questions, you can put them in the chat and James will read them. Um, but keep them kind of, you know, that would be applicable to others as well, of interest and meaningful to others, okay? So we're not, I'm not doing like personal clearings on people at the end. I'm just answering questions that are a benefit to others, okay? So you want to keep those questions universal for, for people. Um, also, I'm thinking there's an interview coming up. Um, yeah, I just did an interview with Patty from Soul Lifetimes Media. If you didn't hear that interview, you may want to check that out because there's also some awesome packages that are offered on that. And then also there is an awesome clearing that has to, oh, this was such a cool clearing, people. This was on relationship with creation based on your relationship with your parents, okay? Because your parents really are your creator in this physical realm. So it was huge. It was awesome. So there's a clearing in there. If you want to get in on that clearing, then go to that. James, um, I'm not sure if you can share a link or with that page or whatever, but if you can, maybe post that because that's a great one. That's a good one. So it was had to do with, you know, your relationship with uh, creation via your parents. So we've got that, which is really was awesome. And then, like I said, there's there's some packages that are dealing all with all the mother father stuff. There's some bonuses, so you won't want to miss out on that. It's a really great deal. Okay, so there's that. And then we do have another interview coming up. Um, you know, James, maybe you can post that. Cause I just don't remember the date, but it's real soon. I think it's in the next couple of weeks, not this coming week, but maybe the week after, and probably on a Thursday, I think. But it should be on our site or like I said, maybe James can post that, okay? And um, again, you know, you want to make sure that you get to experience those things because they're cool. All right. So um, we're going to get going on the clearing. I'm going to uh, walk you through what I want you to do. And like I, I told people before, we're going to start posting if you're new to this, you know, how, what to expect from a clearing, how to get the most out of a clearing. I don't want to keep walking through it because there's people that continue to watch this program. and You know, it gets boring after a while to listen to the same old, same old. All righty. So right now, what I want you to do is think about any kind of time where you really felt this betrayal, where you felt a sense of betrayal, where you've been betrayed. Okay, I'm actually going to unravel not just the betrayal that's happened to you, but I'm going to unravel the betrayals that you have done to others. Okay, because there's, you know, it's like, like I said, it goes both ways. All right. So now as you're, as you're just thinking about the, the betrayal, the feeling of being betrayed, I want you just to let yourself remember that. Okay. And I'm just going to remind you that the the feelings and emotions that you are experiencing that you're awake to those are your conscious feelings emotions what i'm after is the unconscious and the way to access that is to have you literally sit with be with allow welcome say yes to 
whatever presents like these initial feelings. Maybe when you first start thinking about the betrayal, maybe there's just like a deep sadness or maybe there's anger, you know, maybe there's rage, maybe there's, um, you know, despair, whatever that is. Okay. So those are feelings that you've been running all the time. Okay. It's not a new feeling in order to access the subconscious. I'm going to have you just be with those initial feelings. Okay. So let's do that now. So now when you think about the betrayal, Okay, go ahead and just be right there. Been betrayed. Okay. Now, let that emotion be there. Let it, just allow it. Welcome it. Be with it. Sit with it. Okay. And now, what I want you to do is just allow yourself. Allow yourself to just sit in that. Now, you just take your awareness and go right underneath. If you take your awareness and go right underneath, you're going to begin to feel another frequency, another emotion underneath that feeling, okay? So now what I want you to do is just be with that next feeling because you can, okay? Just be right there. Go right underneath. Be right there. Sit with it. Welcome it. And then once you're there and you allow yourself to be with it, now you can begin to take your awareness and go even underneath this feeling, okay? Once we start getting down to that third layer, we definitely start to access the subconscious, which is what I want, because you're lighting things up for me when you do that, okay? So now as we sit with this next layer here, you stay with it, be with it. Just welcome it, feel it. Different, It'll have a different quality to it, different sense to it. And then let's go one more down. Now just take in your awareness and go right underneath that emotion. Now we're really hitting the subconscious, okay? So now that we're in the subconscious, that's the meat, that's where we really start finding the good stuff that helps to change your world, change your life. All right, so just be right there for me. Just hang in right there. Just be, be, be right there. There we go. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, good. Now you're just going to get out of the way, okay? And now you're going to call my presence in. I'm going to surround you with light. And also, I forgot to mention, if you've got people that you want them to come in as well, just think of them, call them in, and I'll do the same thing with them. I'll be clearing them just like I'm going to be clearing you, okay? So I'm, you know, I'll send my consciousness to you, sending my presence to you, be right next to you, surrounding you with light. Call your beloveds in, and here we go. 